Hello everyone. For those who are new, my name is Crystal. In today's video, I want to switch up the content and talk more about how the storytelling of art and how it can be very powerful. It can send a powerful message and tell a story on how that particular society or so civilization was perceived during that time the goal of this video is mainly to spread some awareness and hopefully drop some gems in the past I did take an art appreciation course where it really taught me a lot it taught me how to view art on a deeper level it taught me the elements of art and in the course we did some field trips to the art gallery we visited the Smithsonian and I while I was there I observed some famous pieces and learned some of the stories behind them so my intention is really just to spread your consciousness and hopefully you take notice on if you ever visit a museum just pay attention to the message that's being conveyed and also the elements of art that's being used so when I was there it taught me a level of appreciation on the craftsmanship and detail on the power on how powerful the mind is and how creative we as beings are and we live in a world where our attention span and motivation has been used against us the element of balance is a crucial component of art that plays a significant role in creating visual harmony structure meaning flow and interest in a piece of art the creation of Adam is a great art piece on how Michelangelo uses the element of balance. As you see Adam on the left with a powerful male figure symbolizing God on the right and also angels in the back room, maybe bringing Eve perhaps, you will notice the main colors used are blues, whites, and deep reds. It is interpreted as a sacred knowledge being passed down from God to men and also the depiction of self-actualization of discovering one's true powers, knowledge, and wisdom. The element of line is a fundamental component of art that plays a significant role in creating form, texture, movement, emotion, and depth in a piece of art. Piet Mondrian, a famous artist, created the composition with red, blue, and yellow, a famous artwork distinguishing thick, bold, and thin lines to make up the shapes of squares and rectangles by using colors to separate the shapes. Color can convey a wide range of emotions. It can be used to create mood, establish a sense of time or place, or just simply add visual interest. School of Athens is a famous painting by the Italian Renaissance artist Raphael. This painting is famous for the depiction of the gathering of philosophers and scholars in history. The artist uses earthly colors to create a sense of wisdom, intellectualism, and also it emphasizes the expression of contemplation. The iconic Sugar Shack painting by the artist Ernie Barnes is a great example on how the element of color is being used. This art piece has appeared on the album cover for Marvin Gaye and the opening credits 
on the sitcom show Good Times. The artist uses a combination of bright colors depicting an enthusiastic crowd dancing to the rhythm of the music. You notice the light in the background adds a sense of depth and glow to the surrounding in the scene. Tones of blue, orange, yellow, red, and brown portrays it's a lively dance club. A pattern is created by repeating elements such as lines, shapes, symbols, or colors in a regular or irregular way. Yeyo Kasuma is known for her whimsical psychedelic pieces. She uses a combination of pattern, repetition, and color. Her pieces bring awareness on political and social issues. Hmm, the Starry Night by Van Gogh, you will notice that he uses the element of patterns and movement. The mystery of the night sky, it depicts on how powerful the moon's frequency can impact earth and everyone in it. Your eyes are guided by the movement of how the wind is sweeping through a small town. The element of contrast is an important component of art that plays a significant role in creating visual interest, clarity, emphasis, depth, and mood in a piece of art. This is called the Migration Series. This uses more earth tones against the brown background that depicts the great migration from the rural south to the cities up in the north. Dark earthly tones is the symbol of challenges along the way depicted during that time. Titled American People Series number 20, the depiction of simmering rage and violence within American culture with shades of gray as the background and the use of bold colors against the dark background. Shape is an essential component of art that plays a significant role in creating form, structure, interest, meaning, and balance. Barbara Kruger created the art piece, I Shop, Therefore I Am. This piece depicts consumerism, society's urge to want more, and the concept of oneself and how it is influenced by the art of selling. They use the element of shapes, so you see squares and bright, bold red letters with the play on phrase of the philosopher Rene Descartes, I think, therefore I am. This art piece is called Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living by Damien Hirst. This controversial piece uses the element of shape and you will notice squares and a tiger shark in a box. This is known to be a powerful predator from the ocean that can swim through salt and fresh water now as an art piece filled up with formaldehyde. The last piece I want to talk about is titled Nighthawks and the artist uses a variety of different elements from the viewer's perspective, you are viewing a cafe from the outside and also the artist uses contrast, meaning there's on one side dark and on the other side is light. The cafe's light is reflected from the outside and you see people in the cafe and also the artist uses the emphasis of squares and rectangles in the buildings as the background and the message that depicted is the quietness and isolation of city life during the middle of the night portrayed during a night shift. 
So the next time you visit a museum, discover how the artist applies the different elements. Make sure you visit TravelBloomGetaways.com. In the Travel Resources section, I've created a freebie on 60 things you can do to make your weekend fun and interesting. Hit the like and subscribe button for more content. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Till next time, bye.